Okay, episode 11, here we go. I'm getting pumped. It, it's Christmas season in the house. We put up the tree yesterday. The kids are, are watching Christmas specials all day today. It's, it's just a blast. The season's here. So, today, I wanted to do a video that's not going to be a step-by-step -step breakdown video like we normally do. It's going to be business-related a little, but not a ton. But this one's all about how the people around you can get you revved up and ready to go. So, let's do it. I don't know about you guys. Um, there are extroverts out there, introverts out there, and I think often we use those terms in very different ways and very different definition, definitions where we say that people are overly social are extroverts and people that are really internal and they like to be alone and they like to be, those are introverts. Um, for me, I always do it a little bit differently because I, as an introvert, am somebody that is very social. I like to, I like to talk with people, I like to be out there, and people would say, well, no, that makes you an extrovert. Not really. Uh, for me, it's how you process and, and how you how you come to understand things and wrestle with things. And I know for me, I love being out there. I love talking to people. I love seeing the comments on the on the YouTube channel or Facebook or Twitter or wherever. And I love seeing all the noise that's out there. But the reality is I've got this tiny little office to myself for a reason. I like to come back here and just meditate on everything that I've processed. How does it work? How do these pieces go together? And that's something I wrestle with on my own. And that's something I really wanted to touch on today was understanding how people affect you and your process, okay? So whether it's content creation, business, personal life, whatever. How you not only interact with people, but how you process through people is a really, really important thing to come to understand and, and cling to. So if, if you are somebody who has a passion for reaching people, obviously you're going to have to be out there and be social, regardless of how you process internally or externally. But if you're somebody that processes externally, you have to make sure that you are that much the more out there talking with people, involved with people, constantly bouncing ideas off of people, right, wrong, processed, not processed, just spewing these ideas out onto people. Now, if you're somebody who's an introvert, more like myself, where I like to process things internally and then bring them out to people, um, that's important to be aware of too, where when I'm out speaking with people or talking to people, I have to try to make an effort to just listen and absorb more. Um, it's not that you can't contribute to conversations because clearly you've got your knowledge and expertise, but it's a, it's a point of acknowledging that the people around you are there to help in your process by providing you ideas, to provide uh, their thoughts, their feedback, their dreams, their passions, their visions, whatever. And then I take that information and I go home and I go, okay, what did I, what, what stuck? What did I absorb? What's still there? And then I, I put that all together and I go back out into the world the next day with it. Um, but this is something that I, I see happening a lot where I see people that process internally um, going out there and instead of listening, they just keep saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. And I, I understand some of that thought process, but I think by not using these, you're missing a huge opportunity to process the amazing things and people that are out there. Um, the other way around though, for, for those that are processing externally, um, that people are hesitant when they're external processors to actually throw out ideas that are just ideas. It's you're, you're not, you know, you're not putting a, a label on it, branding it and sending it out to the world, but to preface an idea when you're talking to a group of people with, I was wondering, what do you think would happen if, if Bitcoin exploded tomorrow? You're not sold on that idea. You're not, you're not voicing the downfall of cryptocurrency, but you need that concept out there to process. So, What's the point of it all? The point of it all is, I want you guys, I want to encourage you guys today, regardless of how you process, to be out there talking to people, to be out there engaging with people, whether that's real world, social network, wherever, but engage. Forget, forget your content for today, and I know, whoa, whoa, Dan said forget content. Your content is going to suffer if you're not engaging properly and processing properly. So, for today, guys, Put the content on the back burner. Just do your regular schedule. Don't try to optimize or whatever. Do your regular schedule. But go out there and process. Go, go give your family a hug out by the Christmas tree. Go, go call your mom. Go, go, go to a business meeting that you wouldn't have gone to normally. Go, go find an event locally that you could be at. Go to, go to a coffee shop and strike up a conversation with somebody. Go meet people. Go. Subscribe. And then go. Catch you tomorrow, guys. This was episode... I guess we're... It's getting harder to do this. Episode 11. That was it. Still rocking. Let's go.